Hey everyone, I'm Mindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles, and today I'm here with Rylan, and of course you guys all know Brady. Now it's almost Valentine's Day, so we're gonna do another Valentine's hairdo, and we're calling this one the CGH Accent Heart. Um, you can see that Brady even has a little accent heart on his little rump. Huh, oh, Brady? Oh, is it almost Valentine's Day? And if you guys don't want to miss any of our hair tutorials, be sure to click this button so you subscribe to our channel, and let's get going. Now to begin this hairstyle, what I'm going to do is take a little section and just right here on the side of her head. I'm doing it on the light side of her part line because um, I think it just falls a little bit better. But I'm just kind of making a rectangle and it doesn't have to be exact here. It can just be close. And grab an elastic, just a little clear elastic. And I'm going to put that elastic in right, not totally cinched down against the head, but just towards the top of the head. And I don't want the elastic in, like can you see how I still have a little gib in that elastic? That's how I want it to be. So you can see that I've made kind of my rectangle shape. I'm gonna pull this down just a tidge so that it's nice and relaxed. Now I'm gonna separate this into three parts and they're gonna be three equal parts. So that feels about right to me. And you can use a clip to secure them out of the way or just have her hold one. But I'm going to be working with this right one on the far right right now, and I'm just going to do a braid, just a regular three strand braid. So just as quick as you can, do a braid. When you get to the end of each of the braids, go ahead and secure it with an elastic. It's a little trickier towards the end here, hanging on to these pieces. Okay, so again, put an elastic in, and repeat this process till all three of them are braided. And I'm gonna take a rat tail comb, that's a comb with this metal piece right here, and I'm just gonna grab the edge of the elastic like this. Now taking that rightmost piece, I'm gonna flip it up and tuck it back through that elastic. You see how I'm doing that? And then I'm gonna go same using the same part of the elastic just to the left side now and pull it open and go ahead and tuck the left side in. I'm gonna switch to my, this is not how I'm handed. Normally I'm right handed so this is awkward for me. But you can see I'm taking it through and then pulling it up. So you just pull it up both sides. I'm gonna pull them way up till it's almost to the top of that elastic, the loops. And you can see that it's beginning to form that arch that we want with the heart. Now, you don't have to use a third piece on this. We are doing it because it really helps that gravity not pull the heart down and get all saggy by the end of the day. If you have that third piece, it stays really pretty and formed. That's why we're using that middle strand. So you take another elastic, take it, form your heart. I don't want a huge one, so I'm just gonna do a little half heart right here. And go ahead and secure it with an elastic. Okay, and there you have your heart. Now, the fun thing about doing this style with that middle strand too, is that you can go like this and kind of pull and bunch and it's gonna give you that really immaculate heart shape. So I'm just gonna go until I have that heart shape. I really want that perfect, beautiful heart. And then when you get it done, you can go ahead and just release these ends, all three of them, and undo the braid that you don't need and you have it just blending right into the hair with this cute little accent heart that's so perfectly shaped. And if you want, you could put a little red ribbon or a white little lace bow or something to just kind of accent that even more. Okay, let's go ahead and do the final spin. Do, do, do. You can see this is a great one for short hairstyles, like Ryland's. There you go, and there's just the cute accent heart. Now to show you a different version, we have Camry. Come here, Camps. And her hair is obviously longer, so on her hair we did two accent hearts, you can see one too, and then we just pulled it all the way back and into a faux fishtail. So this is a really fun version. If you have a little bit longer hair, you can still really play around with this style and find lots of creative ways to use it. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like Valentine hairstyles, 
And leave a comment below letting us know what your favorite romantic movie is to watch on Valentine's Day. And we will see you guys next Sunday. Bye, Bye. guys. Bye. And you can see that we have our first heart in the hair. Now I'm just going to go back and continue repeating these steps down through the center of her head. Today I'm here with my special friend, Jill Ehat. Hi guys. So Jill and I have known each other for a long time. We lived by each other for a while. And what else? We're we both have twins. Twins. In fact, you guys saw her twins in our Tinkerbell hairstyle over on the Disney Style channel that we did. They're such adorable little girls. They have these gorgeous heads of blonde hair that are just so cute. We wanted to just introduce you guys formally to Jill because you may see her popping up on our channel once in a while. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Jill does this amazing hair, especially like active hair, like sports, dance, gymnastics, that kind of stuff. And her girls, they're beautiful blonde hair. But you guys are always asking us to work with thinner hair and um, like more fine hair. It's and like that's exactly what soft. her girls are. Yep. And so, yeah, we just wanted to say hello. Jill, say hello. Hello. Now you guys all know each other. And we're all one big happy family. Yay! Yay! <laughs> so, you guys, welcome Jill. Leave comments below saying hi, and we'll see you guys later. Bye, guys. Bye.